today's the day. Yep, any minute now, he should be coming into the yard. He's supposed to be able to take the express refers over Sherman Hill without any help at all. I know. That'll be interesting. When do you think he'll be here? Right now. Well, here he is, the Union Pacific number 4,000. Wow, he's huge. Uh, thanks? You're telling me, he uses more coal than the Challengers. I'm, uh, I'm right here, you know. Could you two come into the office and sign a few things? Then we'll get some trials going. Sure. I don't recall seeing you around here. I just got here. Uh, I was recently built, actually. And there's more of the same class as me coming as well. Man, they just keep making them bigger and bigger, don't they? Yeah, I've gotten quite a few comments on my size already. I didn't mean anything bad by it. I've just never seen anyone as big as you here. Or anywhere, as a matter of fact. It's time to go. We've got a lot to do today. Well, I'll see you around. Welcome to the yard. It seems that everyone's very interested in my size. I'm not surprised. You're the biggest engine we've had here, and believe me, we've had some big engines. Alright, now that we got that squared away, how's some trials sound? Sure, why not? Everything checks out. Let's get you out there on the open track. You think I'm ready? Of course. I don't see why not. Don't worry. I've been on the route plenty of times. You'll do just fine. You're going to be taking the reefers to Cheyenne. You'll have to go over Sherman Hill. This is what you were built for. Sounds like I got a lot on my plate. I don't think you'll have a problem. We'll see when we get there, though. If he can keep pulling loads like that, he's gonna go places. You're doing well so far. Keep it up. That's good to hear. So, what exactly is this train anyways, if you don't mind me asking? This is what we call the Public Fruit Express or PFE for short. It carries all kinds of fruits and vegetables to the west. One of the reasons why the train is so heavy is because the cars have refrigerators on them to keep the produce from going bad. Heavy, huh? That doesn't feel so bad. I feel like I could go on for miles. <laughs> well, that's great to hear, but don't count your chickens before they hatch. 
Just wait till we get to Sherman Hill. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of which, my next question is, what is Sherman Hill? For now, let's just say it's pretty steep. All right, then. I don't think this drive could get any more boring. Yay, train! Oh man, a train? That train is huge. Do you think we'll see it again, Dad? If we can pull these trains quicker and we can get going sooner, I sure hope so. Well, now that we're here, what's so significant about this hill? This hill is the main reason you were built. Going up a hill like this while pulling a train like the one we're pulling right now is not an easy job. Before you, we needed another engine, sometimes two, to push us up to help us get us over the hill. Hmm, really? Yeah, it took a lot of time and resources to get everything ready. You were designed to be able to haul the trains up on your own so we don't have to stop. It should make things go more smoothly in the long run. Well, here come the reefers. Should we get ready to help push? Yeah, might as well. Why well, be dang? That's the first time I've ever seen a lone engine not need help past this point. Same here. I've actually never seen that engine before either. Must be that new engine the hires have been talking about for a while. Oh right, I forgot about that. Well, since we don't have to help the train up the hill, we can get ahead and start on those hoppers that need to go out. Huh, yeah we sure can. If this is the case from now on, things are going to be way nicer around here. You said it. Let's go. You know how much longer we got? Not very long. We're actually almost over the hill. I've got a hand at you. You've proved yourself to be good at this. I told you before, this is pretty easy for me, or I can get used to this. Don't get too comfortable. If you can pull loads like this, it's nothing. You'll probably have jobs all over the Union Pacific. All over, huh? I hope I can live up to the expectations everywhere if that's the case. engine of this wave. Glad to meet you. How was the trip here? Not that bad. My crew was talking the whole way here about how difficult the trip was and how you needed two or three engines to get up that Sherman Hill. But uh, I was able to do it on my own without any help at all. Holy smokes. That's pretty impressive. Thanks. However, it seems everyone is most interested in my size rather than what I can do. I could see why, considering you're the biggest engine anyone's ever seen on this line, but don't let that make you think that that's all you've got. You've got potential, what you did today proves that. 
If you and the rest of your class can keep that up, you all will become the most beneficial engines on this railroad. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Now why don't you go get some rest? That was a long trip. Yes, sir. Here's your train as usual. I gotta hand it to you. Things have been going a lot more smoothly since you've gotten here. Since you're able to take more freight cars at once than any other engine, my yard's been way less cluttered. Not only that, but me and the other engines that are usually around the Sherman Hill yard have been able to get way more work done now that we don't have to push the express reefer train anymore. That's good to know. I try my best. I can't wait till the rest of your class shows up. If you can do all of this, just imagine how much 20 of you can do. Well, we'll have to. Wait and see. Indeed we will, buddy. 